Good morning from Boston. Happy Valentine's Day. Why are you not always dead? Remember speed, sound production, take one. As you will have seen from Super Bowl evening, we had a late night. We have to actually tell you all about that. It was one of the best evenings. Did we even vlog it yesterday? No. Yesterday, yeah, I vlogged the train trip here, which by the way was beautiful. And we vlogged the food. And the food that we had last night, but other than that, not really. Lobster shop. It looks so good. I love, I love the, like, the vibe. Yeah, it's such a cool vibe. But we got this drink. It's honey, blueberry, and lemon. And it's still. And I'm just so intrigued. Go on, have a sip. Nice. Yeah. And we also got it, some free chips. Let's see what else they want. Please, are you trying? Lemonade and honey, that's what it tastes like. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Tastes like cough medicine. But nice cough medicine, like cowpaw. Do you put these in the chowder? What are they? They are oyster crackers. Mmm. This is a um, lobster roll. We both got it and then we got a clam chowder. first full day in Boston and we are doing something called the Freedom Trail which basically just takes you past Everything. all of the main sites to see. It's Valentine's Day so obviously we'll be doing something cute tonight. Although we can't always get a booking anyway so yeah. that's our fault. It's our fault for not booking in time. It's really different vlogging here because people stare at you. In New York no one gives a shit but here they're like vlogging. Boston is already so beautiful. We're in love. New England just in general is so gorgeous. The train trip down I was literally yeah, looking left, right, left, right. I was like, oh my God. I they was were asleep. like, yeah, Ben was hungover. This is the part where we're going to do Boston, Niagara, and Toronto, uh, which is super exciting. We're going to get a car day after tomorrow, and we're going to Harvard tomorrow. This is a statue called the Embrace. This is the park where the Freedom Trail starts. actually happened this was smack dab in the middle of the street in the traffic oh until someone invented a selfie cam about 15 years ago people were going on the street trying to take early selfies with the mind and bustonians were running them over i don't believe anyone died but said we moved it to prevent further massacres i'm not gonna argue Well, it's orange nice, flavored it's soda. Nicer. It's nicer than Fanta. Is it? Mm. This is Gina Pizzeria's brick of a pizza orange soda.
well know my friends. We have just finished our lunch, as you would have seen. This morning we did the tour. We went on the Freedom Trail and we had a guide, and he was just the best Ooh. guide. He was brilliant. We've Look. had. He was just amazing. He was so good. I explained everything you could tell. He was a proper historian. And then we went for pizza at this lovely pizza restaurant, which apparently is one of the best in the US. Pizza was pretty damn good, not gonna lie. But we're now at the waterfront. We're going to the Boston Tea Party Museum. So obviously we're gonna go see where the Boston Tea Party happened, where the Americans threw our tea off their boat, off the boat. So far, we're having a great day in Boston. I'm absolutely obsessed with it already. I'm sad that we've only got two days here and tomorrow we're at Harvard. So technically this is our only full day in the city of Boston. This is the museum. Thing is, New York is beautiful and amazing. And I definitely want to go back. We had so much fun, but Boston just has more of a homely feel to it. And it feels really fresh here. Like in New York, we've been struggling to breathe with the amount of smog. As I already mentioned, it's Valentine's Day. Have you Valentine's? I hope you're celebrating it with your loved one, with your gals, with your family, with whoever you love in this world. We haven't booked any place because everything's fully booked. So hopefully we will get some food. If not, we might just take it home and have it in the hotel. Me and Ben have never been big Valentine's people. We always celebrate it at home. Like we're big Valentine's people in the sense we love to get into the chocolates and cards, but we usually celebrate it at home. So this is very new to go out. So if we find somewhere, it'll be lovely too. Obviously we're in Boston, so it'd be nice to try a different restaurant. Yesterday we went to Luke's Lobster Shack. Oh my Oh my god best lobster salad it was like a warm lobster bun the food was so good obviously expensive because it's lobster but it was well the best lobster i've eaten not that i've eaten much of it um if any at all actually The museum is closed, but you can go onto this boat and pretend to throw tea <laughs> off of it. So just for a little context, we went to this pub where you could drink a cold Sam Adams, which is a beer that they had, looking at a cold Sam Adams. So basically looking into the cemetery where Samuel Adams was buried, which we saw early in the video when we did the Freedom Trail. And of course we had to do it. It sounded very cool. <laughs> Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. Whilst at this pub, I also had this like warm apple cider drink and it was amazing. We then did actually end up staying in. We had Mexican, which is our favorite. And in America, it's a whole different level. It was absolutely amazing. Then just put our PJs on, got into bed, opened our cards, ate our chocolates, and did basically what we do every other Valentine's Day. But this time we were in Boston. It was such a lovely evening and we really, really needed the relax. I feel like New York really took it out of us. So Boston was kind of a nice way to unwind and have a bit of a chill couple days. We then went to Harvard. I forgot to intro this, but I hope you enjoy the tour. We certainly did. It was so lovely to get to see the campus. It is the, said to be the third most photographed statue here in the United States. Um, the first being the Statue of Liberty, the second being the Lincoln Memorial, the third being the Congress. We ended up having lunch at this Greek place on campus and it was absolutely stunning. We then skipped forward a couple hours, this is me and Ben going out for dinner, and we saw this lovely outdoor skating, Christmassy vibe thing going on, so I thought I'd film it. So we thought this was a starter and it's bloody huge. 
We then went to this restaurant which looked beautiful from the outside and the inside too but we didn't really realise how big the portions would be so we got a starter and a main and we left most of it. We felt so bad but it was so so much so remember that portion size in America. Alexander Hamilton, it's Alexander Hamilton and there's a million things I haven't done but just you wait, just you wait. Hi everyone, Editor Nat here. I'm currently in Italy. You will see that in the upcoming vlog. Sorry about the mess, I still haven't put my stuff away. But this is the first and last Boston vlog. We did really have much time in Boston, just two days. And the second day at Harvard, I didn't really film much. At least two days, just chilling, relaxing, trying to kind of recuperate our energies for our road trip part of the trip which will be the next vlog boston was stunning i definitely want to go back and do a couple more days there because i honestly don't feel like i've seen enough of it even though we saw quite a lot i definitely recommend doing the freedom trail if you do go do it with a guide you can do it by yourself there's this red line that kind of um, guides you through the city of boston and takes you through the different sites of the freedom trail but we decided to do a guide it wasn't very expensive and honestly the the knowledge that we gained doing it with a guide was a hundred times better. We also did a guide of Harvard. It was by a Harvard student. We found both of these, well, the guide for the Freedom Trail we actually found at the information desk in the um, Boston Common, which is where, where the Freedom Trail starts. And then the guide for Harvard we got on Get Your Guide. You can actually get 10% discount, student discount, if you get it on the app. So just a little inside, save you a pretty penny. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really does help as it tells me that you like this video. And if you like the video, you might as well subscribe down below. We've got a lot of vlogs coming up. And yeah, I will talk to you all in my next video. As always, love you lots. Bye.